it is time once again to have a discussion about 32-bit support, but this time just talking about the Steam client on Linux. So a few months back, I covered this article, Windows 32-bit OS support, as of January 1st, 2026, Steam will stop supporting systems running 32-bit versions of Windows. Windows 10 32-bit is the only 32-bit version that is currently supported by Steam and is only in use by 0.01% of systems reported through the Steam hardware survey. Windows 10 64-bit will still be supported and 32-bit games will still run. Now, a few days back, this update was actually pushed into the Steam client beta, so if you have that enabled, you now have that as part of your system. On Windows, the Steam client on Windows 10 and Windows 11 is now 64-bit. However, if you're one of the five people running Steam on a 32-bit version of Windows 10, as per the original announcement, that will still be updated until January 1st, 2026. But every single other person running a 64-bit operating system, finally, Steam on Windows, is 64-bit, at least in the beta. And unless something drastically changes over the next coming weeks, that's gonna be every single user very, very soon. So that raises the question then, what about Linux? With the existence of the Steam Deck, which is 64-bit hardware running a 64-bit operating system directly from Valve with the new Valve hardware, the GameCube, the Steam Machine, and the Steam Frame running that same 64-bit operating system, also with 64-bit hardware, and basically every single Linux user running a 64-bit operating system, and the ones that aren't are not running Steam on that hardware, what is going on with the Linux client for Steam? On that front, there has been a very tiny amount of movement I didn't think this was worth a video unto itself, but we'll include it in this one. Valve put up a new Steam Linux runtime 4.0 with a move towards 64-bit. Most libraries that were previously available for both x86-64 and i3-d6, that being 32-bit x86, are now only available for x86-64, that is 64-bit regular systems, your AMD and Intel systems. In general, we only have i3-d6 libraries if they're expected to be needed for Proton or for the Steam Runtime Tools Diagnostics Tools. With a new runtime, this is just one tiny more step towards a fully 64-bit version of Steam. But Steam today, as is stated here, for both Proton and the Steam Runtime Tools, still has a few 32-bit dependencies. This is why, for most users, they have multi-lib enabled. If you don't play Steam games, you probably don't have multi-lib enabled. If you don't have Fex installed, that's another one of the cases where you might need it. Funnily enough, Fex is also being used on Steam hardware. But this is basically the only reason that most people have multi-lib enabled, most people have any 32-bit dependencies left on their systems. Now, resolving this has been a very, very long requested change. Almost as long as there has been a Steam on Linux. Reported back on October 1st, 2014, not working in 64-bit only distributions, example, CentOS 7. This is so old, that people still cared about CentOS. Not really anymore. This is about a year after Steam for Linux actually came out. This is very early on for Steam on Linux actually existing. And the response at the time, the client is a 32-bit app, so this is expected behavior. Keeping this open as a feature request for a pure 64-bit client, but there aren't any plans to make one at the moment. And considering at this point, the Windows client was 32-bit. It obviously wasn't going to happen for Linux when the main platform, you know, the main platform hadn't done it yet. And of course, like any other long-term report like this, there are going to be duplicates. 64-bit only client, please. Build 64-bit binaries, and there's like five or six other ones all asking for the exact same thing, which you'll get redirected 
back to the main one. There have been quite a few comments in this thread. There's a 238 currently hidden here, but I would say it's mostly in recent years that people have been very interested in seeing this resolved. Most notably in the past year or so, probably due to the fact that the whole Windows 10 EOL thing was happening, so more people were trying out Linux and more gamers were trying out Linux and the Steam Deck's been out for a couple of years at this point and Proton's in a good state and all these things, more people are interested in seeing this actually dealt with. And whenever this topic comes up, there's always a few repeated questions every single time. So what about older native games that are 32-bit applications that rely on 32-bit dependencies? So that's the purpose of the older Steam runtimes. These don't just get deleted, these still exist and you can run a game with those older runtimes and use those older dependencies. Each of these Steam runtimes basically provides an environment for these games to run in. Now, sometimes these older games will still break if they were never actually built specifically against the runtime, but against some other various collection of dependencies. It's kind of hit and miss when you're dealing with older native games, so you might still have problems. And what about older 32-bit Windows games that you run through Proton? So at the time this report was made, yes, that actually was a problem. And Wine needing 32-bit dependencies was something that was keeping 32-bit dependencies around for a very long time. Nowadays, though, that's not really a problem. Most distros have gone and enabled a feature in Wine called WoW64. This is basically a 32-bit compatibility mode to run 32-bit software in Wine on a 64-bit system without having those 32-bit dependencies. As an example, Arch Linux went and enabled this back in June of this year. There are some problems. There are some slight performance reductions for these older games, which, to be fair, when we're talking about 32-bit OpenGL applications, look, they're so old in many cases that it probably doesn't matter. You can probably brute force this. I'm sure in certain situations, though, that is going to cause issues. And I think this is part of the reason why Proton is not yet actually using this. Also, existing 32-bit prefixes would need to be recreated, so that would require some sort of transition tech or something to make sure that save files and mods and settings and stuff like that actually get properly transferred over, or at least warning the user that this wouldn't be happening. As should be expected, back when the discussion dropped 32-bit lives from Fedora came up, this was mentioned in the thread because this would have been a big problem for Steam on Fedora and on everything based on Fedora, like Bazite, and that was a big part of the reason why Kyle really didn't want this change to happen. Thankfully, it didn't. And hopefully, before this comes up again, Valve can fix the problem. Before we go any further, whilst this issue tracker is on a GitHub repo, this is not an open source project. Steam for Linux is not open source. This is entirely on Valve to fix the problem. This is not a situation of send patches or anything like that. Valve are the only people that can fix the Steam client. And following that post I mentioned earlier, the whole Windows 32-bit OS support and the client becoming 64-bit, people had more questions. Hey, if the Windows client is going 64-bit only. What about the Linux client? This person says something which I don't think they realize they were wrong. Dropping 32-bit OS support is not the same thing as making a 64-bit client. Steam client beta. The Steam client is now 64-bit on Windows 11 and Windows 10 64-bit. So it might not be, but they also did that. With it being quiet for a few weeks, someone said, is there any news or plans related to this? Very shortly after, we had that whole, you know, Valve hardware situation with the Steam frame and the GameCube and all that fun stuff, and, well... Valve... 
Hello? There's been a lot of movement on WoW 64 in the Proton repos. Given the movement towards 64-bit and Windows, and the fact they're launching an ARM 64 device early next year, I imagine the Steam client on Linux won't be too far behind, but we're all just speculating at this point. Valve keeps things close to the nest, they're kind of like Nintendo in that respect. That's true, except Valve has a lot more leaks. Very much leaks, for sure, they're always leaks. So, those changes in question are patches like this one, Wine OpenXR, fix WoW 64 handling, and this is in the Proton repo, right? You wouldn't be dealing with WoW 64 stuff in Proton unless you were planning to use it sometime in the future. Now, this came up in the Fedora discussion, and people still suggest it now. If you want to get rid of the 32-bit dependencies on your system, at least as regular packages, just install it as a flat pack, and then it's going to be in the flat pack runtime environment. The issue with this is, unless Valve decides to actively support the flat pack, this is not a workable solution. There are a number of really important features that just break in the flat pack, let alone the fact that the flat pack has busted permissions that increasingly makes it more annoying to use. So, unless Valve decides to take it over, that's just not going to happen. So Valve, I ask once again, where is the 64-bit Steam client? With all of this work going on, surely it has to be on the way, especially after abandoning 32-bit Windows. I don't know, maybe it's coming, maybe it's somewhere, maybe we'll see it eventually. Who knows? Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you care about this? Do you want to see the elimination of 32-bit dependencies? And, um, I don't know. Are you one of these people that is running Steam on a 32-bit operating system? I'd like to know. Anyway, if you like the video, go like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay link in the description down below. Go subscribe as well, and... I'm gonna go make some lunch.